Now, <clears throat> if you're not careful, you can shoot yourself in the head here. So I'm going to help prevent us from doing that. So what were to happen if we were to say truck forward and then truck reverse? So it would write out a one forward delay and then it would write out a one to reverse. And so now you have the H bridge trying to go forward and reverse at the same time. Um, and that's always a bad thing in an H bridge because if you think about it you have a certain combination of FETs to go forward and a certain combination of FETs to go reverse uh, where they feed the current and power from the battery through those FETs to the motors if you're to put them both uh, high at the same time and if the H bridge does not have any automatic protection built in you'll turn on all four FETs at the same time which essentially will short the battery to ground through the FETs and burn them out. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. Therefore when we uh, are going forward we want to make sure that reverse is a zero. And when we are going in reverse, we want to make sure that forward is a zero. <clears throat> and we need to do the same thing down here with turning right. So now with stop we are all stopped and going straight with forward we are not going in reverse and we are going forward in reverse we are not going forward and we are going reverse truck right we are not going left we are going right truck left we're not going right we are going left and straight is good. <clears throat> so I think we're ready to write our mainline code now and I think we already put that down there. Uh, we got truck stop. Okay. Um, so just to give us a little time to turn on the switch and set it on the pavement let us uh, let us do this when we boot let's delay uh, 2000 milliseconds so that's two seconds <coughs> We're going to wait three seconds after we turn on the power switch uh, and give the user a time to set the truck on the ground. And next, we are going to say truck. Look at that. This IDE is fantastic. So it automatically popped up our options for truck. And so we're going to select this one. And we're going to say, let's go forward uh, 500 milliseconds. All right? So let's try to recreate exactly what we did in the hardware, only this time we'll do it in the software. And now we want to 
truck right. So you can see I just used the arrow key to come down to what I wanted and I hit the tab key. And we're going to turn right. So now the wheels are turning to the right. <coughs> truck forward again. 500 milliseconds. So now this is the turning right for 500 milliseconds. And then we want to go back to straight. Um, truck straight. And then we want to move forward 500 uh, <coughs> milliseconds. So we're going to go forward, turn the wheels to the right, go go forward again with the wheels turned to the right <coughs> and then turn the wheels straight again and we kind of we just want to repeat this four times right or maybe eight times would be good so rather than just duplicating this code over and over again let's put it in a for loop <coughs> or i equals zero while i is less than four plus plus i and I think that's uh, it's complaining what is what doesn't it like and oh I have to declare i not like that. Oh. There we go. Now it's happy. So let's tab this. Tab this. Tab this. Tab this. End that for loop. And so now we're going to start at zero. We're going to do this. We're going to do it again and again and again. And when I is when I is greater than three, it will stop. So we probably want a. Stop here. <laughs> 